Right, this is part 19. This is uh, 70s rock stuff, really. Um, first lot is ACD, so it's a band what I don't really listen to a lot, but they're all right. And, uh, well, it's about as heavy as I'll get, really, as, as in heavy rock. I don't like White Snake, Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, none of that. But ACD, so I don't know something about them, which is all right. This is high weight, well. got to blow up your video so I don't listen to these a lot but they're there if I do want to listen to them for those about to rock back to black and they're just things that I've picked up for like a pound or something uh, what's that if you want blood as Greatest hits of Aerosmith, which is about all I do want of Aerosmith, really, I'll do me. Right, this is the Allerman Brothers Band. I do like these, brothers and sisters. Uh, live at the Fillmore East, both on Atlantic. That's uh, Eat a Peach. Yeah, they're good albums, they are. Uh, again, as with Aerosmith, America is the greatest hits. Uh, Am and Jewel 2, it's a nice album. Nice cover, it's a double album. Uh, don't know if you look to my other videos, as I've said about a love LP I got, which is 25p. I got a load of LPs once, 25p. That was one of them. That was another. Uh, it's the Starship label one. Unfortunately, it's not the swell label, so that'd be worth a few quid. Uh, another good band. I don't play this often enough, really, but it's a good album in Atomic Rooster. Uh, yeah, that's a gay fold. That's another Atomic Rooster album. And another Atomic Rooster album. And there's a little bit of ring wear on that one, but uh, someone else like Kevin has. Um, I've only just got this copy. I had a, a copy that was a bit rough. Then I found this one for two quid. With a proper inner sleeve, harvest. Really clean, really nice that. Well worth two quid. Uh, it's on a gay fold sleeve. Uh, there's a few. The Kevin Ayers ones now is his next album. Yeah, I'm pretty good, Nick. Kevin Ayers, again on Harvest. Uh, sweet Deliverance. There's another heavy rock band I've got. Uh, my dad's, got two LPs of these, they both my dad's back and turn her overdrive. There's a bit of a stigma attached then because of the, you ain't seen nothing yet. The, what was it, Nice and Smashing? Smashing and Icy, whatever it's called. But yeah, I did I like this LP, I like the title track, not fragile. I say not a big heavy rock fan, but these two albums are alright. Uh, Ginger Baker on Virgo. Sid Barrett Opal. Um, and then you got a compilation of his first two albums. I'd love to have his first two albums on originals, but that they'll have to do until they do come along. I find Sid Barrett fascinating. Uh, BG's main course. Most of my BG stuff was in my 60s stuff. They got the Blue Oyster Cole. It's a double album. Another Blue Oyster Cole. Uh, Colin Blundstone. 
it's nice. So we've got that signed. Um, went to see the zombies last year, I think, was it Norwich? And Colin come out there afterwards. So I've got that signed, and I've got this signed as well. And all the rest, I think, yeah. All the rest, the Mark Boland T-Rex, Trinosaurus Rex. I think that one should have originally been a double album because the spines have been cut on that and I've got half of it somehow. That's some early stuff from Mark Boland, you scare me to death. Just got a book and everything with it. Um, yeah, we've got Slider. Electric Warrior, which has got the sticker, free poster inside, but unfortunately I ain't got this poster. Got Bolan Boogie, love this album, it's got Raw Ramp on, brilliant song. Uh, there's uh, Music for Pleasure, Rider White Swan, um, budget label T Rex. Uh, there's another compilation on Flyback T Rex. It's Deborah and One Inch Rock and all that sort of stuff. Greatest hits, again, it's got a sticker for a poster, but I ain't got the poster. Uh, this is on Fame, Get It On, which is a compilation. It's a greatest hits, double album on Pickwick. Um, Dance in the Midnight, it's a Mark on Wax album. It's a Italian or German or something like that. 2LP set, the main man, Mark Bowen, T-Rex. Then we've got another uh, budget label, great hits. Uh, Bowen Zip Gun, which is getting on Mug on Wax. The Unobtainable T-Rex. It's a nice picture of Mark and Gloria Jones on the back there. It's, uh, sort of non-album stuff, non-single stuff and all that. This is a compilation, the best of the 20th century boy. Uh, the best of T-Rex, which is on down some budget label from West Germany. And again, I think it's a German as well, with Smart Biden and T-Rex, Pop Chronicles. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, so part 20, that'll be a lot of Bowie in that. Yeah, cheers.